Ken Bruce here from DirtTrackDigest.com. We're here with the winner of the Blast at the Beach. Two out of the last three years, Billy Pouch Jr. Man, what hell of a run, pal. Nah, it was a very good run here. You know, we had a, we had a good car all night as, uh, as Lope goes through here. If the, uh, you know, DTD is a million-dollar operation. This camera over here is probably a $50 Walmart camera. So uh, hopefully hopefully Mallet spent some money this week and uh, gets kind of better camera. But uh, thanks off to these guys. Uh, man, we ran a heck from 12th. Uh, it's just choppy and kind of to a curb, and I could keep my car free enough not to lose the nose. And when Stu lost it, I could fill the hole, and when Tyler lost it, I, I kind of filled the hole. But I'm at, I'm hot. I'm mad tired and out of breath. But it was uh, it was a good race, and we, you know we've got a really good car at Georgetown, and very proud of these guys. To come from 12th to get to the, you know to get up there to pass Stewart and uh, you know Tyler had, had a good run going, but to start 12th, you don't really see that very often in these kind of races. No, you don't. That's uh, unless you're Stu or Matt. And so, uh, so it was. I was, I was shaking when I when I was 12th. You know what I mean? I was like, ah, this might be tough. I thought that might have been the race, but we were able to get through and capitalize. I mean, you know, Matt unfortunately took the flip down here, and we we got the 10th, and we actually started 10th after all of it. So, but you know, we made the right tire choice, and man, that thing was good tonight. Just awesome, and I had to beat Kevin Ayers' buddy here a little bit. You know, I got a good see him here. I, do we get? Hey, before you go, can I have a flip phone picture for three wide message vault? Yeah, and a flip phone picture for the Bolt. <laughs> so, uh, that was awesome, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think there was a really good crowd tonight. Really, really awesome. It's, you know, this is, this is tough. These, these races aren't easy to win, so I'll take them any way I get them. Yeah. yeah, you were behind Jordan there, Watson, for a while, and it looked like you could tell you were probably faster, but you were having a hard time getting by him, but you got on the outside on the restart, and that seemed to be the key to launch you up there. Yeah, I got pissed. I almost had him down here when the yellow come out that one top, and then I, that put me uh, back to fifth or whatever it was, and Hill spun his tires, and I was able to get up underneath him and get where I needed to be. But, uh, no, nah, I was just kind of pacing. You know, it was tre treacherous, and I didn't want to go in there and make nothing stupid. If I had to count for every time I've driven off the track here, I'd have, be a millionaire. So uh, we'll take it We'll take it any way we got it, you know. And, and hats off to uh, Kevin. Still still renting cars? Uh, sold, out. sold out. He's a full-time race mechanic, but he gives me a bush light. <laughs> oh, no, that's a heavy. There we go. Thanks to Orange County. <laughs> but no, it was a really good night, man. This is—I uh, love coming here. I love the series. I like everything about it. It's—it uh, pushes you to be better than what you are on your weekly basis, and that's what's cool to come and do this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You and Rick seem to have a good package for this place. You've had a lot of success here over a few years, and uh, you know that sort of helps out when you come to these races like this. It is. I always tell people it's like a—it's a mix. It's everything. Everyone's got to mix together and hit the right thing. And we've got a great group of guys. And, you know, we're only getting stronger, I feel. I think we'll be even stronger going into next year. And, you know, Morgantini has really stepped up their motor program and gave me a really good pieces. And, you know, obviously Big Nell's been good and everyone involved just, and we keep digging. It's really cool. I mean, we're not, I mean, look around. We're not the biggest team here is there, but we got a lot of heart and a lot of gut and will to it. So we get, we get beat at certain races and Maybe this year we can get one of the big ones, and uh, we'll make it really happy. I mean, this is a big one, but I want one of them over 10,000 win races. So, uh, till then, sponsored by Bush Beer. Talk about the track a little bit. It seems like it had, I'm going to say, character to it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it was choppy. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, yes, it had a lot of character. I've seen racetracks like this before, so it's going to happen. you got to remember, we got a hurricane here on Tuesday. So, what are you going to do? It's It's racy. All I know is as long as you can pass, I can live with holes. It's when you got to go and run around the same lane all night, that drives me nuts. So passing, I, even if it's choppy, Ken, I'll take a choppy track and a raceable track. So, you know, that's the key to racing. you got to put a show on, and that's what's first. Yeah, I wasn't saying it was bad. I just no. thought it just had some, you know, choppiness to it and it stuff. Choppy, so. You know what I mean? It wasn't bad. I, I wouldn't say that. It was just character, you know what I mean? And everyone's running on the same track, so... You know, I'm, I, as I said before, if, if you give me a top and a bottom and somewhere to slide, I think we can put on a good show. Yeah, that's the whole key to it. It's, it's, it's a raceable track. Just one, one last question: When it's hot, and, when it's so hot like this and muggy and humid, does that affect you at all in the car? You're just, you're just so focused on racing, it doesn't bother you. It's funny. Austin Hubbard said to me after the heat, he goes, oh, "I'm out of shape here." I think when you run three nights a week, it, it keeps you on top of your game, and you're a lot better in shape. You know, it's definitely tough. If this was a spec motor, I'd have thought it was dead. You're, it just kills your motor, you know what I mean, this heat and humidity. All right, man. Well, once again, we're here with the winner of the Blast at the Beach and uh, another one of them cool trophies that I'm sure little Billy's got. So, uh... <laughs> Keep getting interrupted here. All the well-wishers coming by. 
but uh, right. it's a cool trophy. I'm sure little, it's gonna, little Billy's going to grab that trophy from you again. No, it was cool. Very cool trophy. We're, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get the surfboard, and we'll uh, take the ride and enjoy it. This is, this is a really cool deal, and uh, these wins races are hard to win. I'm going to go try to win a Super Dirt Car Series next week. Say, if I do that, then I might, it might be a good year to that. So, but that's an even tougher deal. So we'll see what happens. It's cool to have two good paying series in the modified world, but a lot of, a lot of races that pay a lot of money. And it seems like a lot of New York drivers take a lot of our money. So hopefully we can take a little bit of the money back this year. All right, well, we're here with Billy Pouch Jr. here, winner of the uh, Blast at the Beach. Congratulations, pal. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. It's good talking to you, Ken.